smooth ribbed skin, orange pumpkin, thick shell, seeds and pulp, pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, jack-o'-lanterns and all things nice. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is in collaboration with Sandra over at the Chauvin's Nest. She does lots of thrift flips, trash to treasure, Dollar Tree DIYs and she absolutely loves farmhouse decor so make sure you check her out. The link to her channel and her video will be in the description box. So for our first DIY I'm going to be starting with this. I got this from the charity shop or the thrift store and this is going to be really quick and easy. I'm going to start with some straw. So I got this hay from the pet shop. Here it is. It can be quite messy so I might trim its size but what I'm going to do is just fill it up so that we can cover the base of this. And this is going to look really farmhousey as well. So now we're going to tidy this up, I'm going to trim its size just so that it doesn't kind of overflow on the edges here. Okay, so I've got that all tidied up, isn't that a lot better now? And I also have these pumpkins and you can paint them, you can decorate them however you like but I do quite like them just as they are. I also have some pillar candles, so I've got two, I actually have three but I'm only going to need two, so there they are. And then I've got some berries, just to add some colour, I've got these ones here, they're orange and red. And I'll see if I add anything else but I think that might be it. So this is pretty long, let me just try and move it so that it kind of fits into the camera, which isn't easy as you can see. There you go, so here's one pumpkin. And then just shift this along a little. And we're going to place our pillar candle, space it out nicely. And then our next pumpkin. And then again, lastly, your candle. So here's our berries going in now. You can just hide this wire part in the straw. I think I'm actually going to add a little bit more hay in that corner there. So I've just been playing off camera and I decided I'm going to use some of this. I'm going to cut it to size, just small pieces like this and then I'm adding it just in between the pumpkin and the candle. So one here, one there and then one last one here. Here's a quick look at our first DIY before we move on to the second. I really love how quick, easy and simple this was to put together but it's just so full of autumn vibes. You're going to need a candlestick. This is the one I've got, it's really beautiful rustic. I got this as a gift actually and I've never used it. I'm going to remove this part here because it's getting in the way with the plans that I have basically. So I'm going to do that with some pliers. So I finally managed to get rid of that. Next I'm using this vase and really quick and easy again we're going to just fill this up with lots of autumn goodies. So I've got some berries here, some pine cones, I've got my bag of acorns and I also have some dried out real oranges and then I've got some more berries that I used in the first DIY. So go ahead and fill your vase up with the pine cones first. Then you're going to take your orange slice and stick it on the side so that it can be seen quite nicely. I'm going to take a few more pine cones. That one's too big actually. 
Then I'm going to use my acorns. Grab your berries and place them inside as well. I'm placing one last orange slice inside and then I'm taking my final pine cone. This was actually from a wreath, you can see some glitter there. And I'm just trying to play around with lots of different types. So you've got bigger ones, you've got spaced out ones. This one is quite light in colour as well. So I'm placing that there. And then finally we're going to add some more berries. This time this has more colour in. We've got two variations, orange and red. And then we're going to just place them in the jar. And folding over the wire, just like that. And then finally you're going to just place it on top of your candle holder. And this is our second DIY. How pretty is that? I think this also works for Christmas as well and I really love how high-end these look. Thanks mum for that candle holder. No, she doesn't watch my videos thankfully. I don't like any of my family watching my videos. Third and final DIY. This is one of my hacks and I wanted to share it for the longest time ever. So this is what I'm using. It is like a 3D shadow box frame and that's not what I needed or wanted but I have to work with what I've got. So what I'm going to do is instead of opening it up I'm just going to stick my material on the glass itself. So yeah that is the next thing you're going to need is some material. So I've got this beautiful one here. I got it off eBay. I'm going to take your piece of material and I'm going to flip it over Go and stick it to some paper using our glue stick. You can use sellotape as well, but I have found that this works better. Make sure that it's really nice and taut. And I am just using a regular printer. It's inkjet and this is just paper. So you don't have to put it on card or anything fancy. Okay, so now I'm done, I'm just going to give this a quick nip and then we're going to place it in our printer and print. And for my image I used Photoshop just to put everything together, so I found a pumpkin on the internet, I just googled pumpkin stencil and then I also found the Autumn Vibes font on the internet as well, so I just put it together and made sure that it fits according to the size of my frame. So then you're going to take your paper with the material stuck onto it, you're going to insert it into your paper tray for the printer, and then slot that back in, make sure that you have got the paper the right way around so that it prints onto the material and not the other side of the paper. And here it goes! And here it is, all printed out. I'm so, so happy. Doesn't that look so good? It looks really high-end and it was so inexpensive to make just with your home printer. So what I'm going to do now is just cut its size so that it can fit my frame. So taking your glue stick again, you're going to apply your glue on the glass. I was actually going to peel it away from the paper but I don't think there is a need so I just cut it out with it and I'm going to stick it on with it as well. Now just to pull these out from the back because I won't need them. And then it's optional if you want to put a backing here so you can hang it on the wall. Well, there you go. And here's the third and final DIY for today. I was honestly so excited to share this one with you all, so I hope that you have enjoyed this hack. And here's how they all look together. I'm really happy with how they've come out. I really like this rustic vibe as well. And these neutral colours are just so calming and refreshing to look at. I hope that you have enjoyed all of these DIYs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to check out Sandra. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And for those who love the cats, I hope that you enjoy the bonus footage. We have a heatwave over here in the UK. It's been 32 degrees 
and yeah i've tanned my hands have tanned my face is tanned and i've only been in the garden the cats are absolutely loving it but they are struggling poor things so i make sure that there's a lot of water around for them they do love it though they're always rolling around and sitting in the garden and asking me to come with them you can see just how hot she is here she's just trying to deal with it bless her and here's Leo just chilling and giving himself a bath, enjoying the sun. And then I took this other coloured pine cone. Whoops. 